Hey, what's up guys? I'm Matt. Today I'm gonna be bringing you a video about how much do pastor's clothes really cost? Let's find out right now. So it made me think about this topic was I was talking with a few friends and we're kind of going over like different outfits that people wear. Um, I was actually wearing my Fear of God stuff and we were kind of just talking about it. Um, and just the fact that like all these big mega pastors are starting to wear these clothes. So I kind of want to discuss it because some people don't even really realize how much these guys clothes cost. Um, and even just the topic in general, of if you're a pastor of one of these mega churches, is it okay for you to be spending that much money, spending that much money on this stuff because it does cost a lot. And when you consider that some of these guys are in LA or Miami or wherever they might be, there's definitely people that they could be helping, even people I could be helping. So let's get into that right now. So how are we gonna know what outfits you're wearing? Well, we have this glorious thing called Instagram. You should follow me on Instagram if you aren't, link in description. But on Instagram, we're gonna check out some of their outfits that they posted willingly on there. Not looking at the captions, not looking at what it's about, just looking at their clothes, kind of how much they're, they're worth. We're not gonna be able to nail all the brands, all the prices 100%, but we can guesstimate. Now, I think it's also good to mention that a lot of these guys who wear Fear of God have connections with Jerry Lorenzo. Now, if you don't know, Jerry Lorenzo is the main guy, CEO, whatever you wanna call him, main guy behind Fear of God, and most likely gives his clothes to these guys for free because there are these mega pastors are gonna be seen by millions upon millions of people now with saying that they probably got it for free I'm not gonna be looking at that I'm just gonna be letting you know how much these clothes are worth or approximate cost I might just throw some stuff up if I'm wrong about just how much it actually is and yeah let's get right into it I'm gonna move the camera right now so I'm gonna be angling myself a little bit so I can put up the stuff over here um, so let's get into the first one the first person that I want to talk about because I think he's the biggest person who wears a lot of hype that I think he pays for some of it is Chad Veach. Now, I was actually brought upon Chad Veach by my fiance when she was like, man, look at how this guy dresses. Right away, a lot of his like shoes in particular cost a lot. So if we're looking at this one, you can kind of see right away, let me zoom in a bit. But right away, you can definitely see the shoes. These are Saint Laurent shoes. Cost retail like 650, 700. Hat, I don't know. This, I don't know t-shirt looks a little unfinished it's either cheap or expensive i honestly can't tell you but the main thing i saw right away was the shoes um, i believe it has a little bit of branding at the bottom for the saint laurent logo and it was something and you can even tell from right here the little gold text yeah that's the outfit number one that really drew, drew my attention outfit number two that drew my attention was this one that we're looking at right now kind of see yeah off-white shoes on still got the tag on skinny denim overcoat that probably is pretty pricey pretty pricey if i do say so myself and yeah it's hard to tell a hoodie when we can't see most of it nowadays like my daniel patrick hoodie i have it doesn't have drawstrings which usually makes me assume it's a little bit more expensive than a normal one would be. Hard to tell. Next outfit of outfit number three on the list is these in particular. If you're not into the sneaker world, you might not know what these are. These are the Off-White Air Jordan 1s. They go for a small kidney and maybe both of your kidneys. They go for, depending on which size you are, a few thousand dollars. Freaking insane, I know. I don't, I don't have any. And this is on October 20th, 2018 few months ago I'm not really gonna dig back too far because I want to keep it more current to what they're currently wearing because there has been some criticism against these pastors for wearing these certain outfits so next outfit up outfit number four still on Chad Beach still talking about him dresses really well but his clothes are very expensive let's keep going into it so this one actually has I believe his wife 10 years I would assume it's his wife not sure 90% sure because his last name is Beach yeah his wife so right away always got to go with Chad Beach's shoes I'm telling you and this one is wife's shoes too you got the Gucci aces on one and he got the common projects um forget which ones those are but around 450 dollars not on sale for chad's around 600 700 for julia's i actually don't know what brand this is from i'd be curious if you guys know any of the ones i'm missing leave them in the comments below i'd be more than willing to look at it too I'm kind of curious sometimes because sometimes they actually do dress really well. Not a lot of what am I saying? Anything I'm mentioning about price doesn't have to do with their outfit. I don't... What they wear is what they wear. I think this outfit's honestly really nice. I think it's well put together. Maybe not tucked in shirt for me personally, but for him it works really well. And the last outfit from Chad Veach, at least 
for right now is this outfit right here. What immediately set me off on this outfit was the Fear of God hat. Like I said before, probably free, but that was immediately what set me off for this outfit at first. That was the first thing I noticed personally. But the second thing I noticed is right here, you see that? See those stripes all down? Pretty sure that that is off-white flannel. Now I'm not sure because I haven't seen anything. Usually off-white is very like branding on the back of it. But just by looking at that, I would, I'm assuming that is it. He's with another friend who has an off-white shirt on. Safe to assume. And I, and I said last outfit from Chad Beach, but we're going to another outfit by Chad Beach because it's right next to it on the right. This one that I'm looking at right now, it has Zoe LA shorts. Hit their own brand. Don't know the shirt, pretty flowy. But immediately, the moment you see right away, I'm with Judah Smith right here too, good to know. He's not in this video, but he's in some people's videos. Is these to write down here. Off-white blazers, I believe they're going for. So the last sale on these was $1,200. In my size, 13, you can get them for as low as 1,015. What a steal. No, but in all seriousness, this is how much shoes are. This photo was, oh. We'll get to that in a little bit. This photo was on the 8th of September, pretty recent, probably paid close to that. And and just to confirm the price on the Air Jordan ones, it's a used car right there. Someone's willing to pay you almost $4,000 for these. Why? It's literally Chicago with air on it. Although they, although they do look pretty freaking sick. All right, I think we've picked on Chad Veach enough. Now we're gonna go on to the next guy that was the first one I saw in this scene that was really dressing like this. Connections with Jay Biebs, um, Hillsong, New York. Talking about Carl Lentz. Now Carl Lentz is a lot more low key with his outfits. He still has a lot of ones that you just kind of know they're a little bit more expensive the way he dresses. It might not even be expensive for some of them, but it can come off like that. I'm gonna scroll up, there is a word, and I don't wanna get demonetized on a video that I'm not doing anything. As you can see with these, very low key shirt, and he's got Fear of God jeans on that retail $1,000-ish, give or take. Probably got them for free, but good to mention. There you go, there's J. Biebs, Lil Wayne, and yeah, it's like, that's who he's with a lot. It would make sense why he would dre dress very expensively. Expensively, I don't think that expensively is a word. And here we go, there we go, there's, you got Judah Smith, I don't know who that guy is, if I'm being honest with you. Ryan Good, I feel like I should know who that is. Probably don't. But you can kind of see, he's got a denim shirt on, don't know the price on that. It looks like some Saint Laurent. Chelsea's from the looks of it could be wrong like any of these I could be wrong and just some skinny jeans on not super duper skinny down below but skinny nonetheless all throughout Carl Lentz you're like oh what what would set you off remember that photo earlier yeah let's go back to it this stirred up a lot of controversy so the supreme hoodie right here you might just be thinking oh it's supreme oh it's supreme oh supreme ah. but in reality it's a supreme Louis Vuitton collaboration Retailed, I don't know how much it costs retail, if I'm being honest with you, but it's expensive. Supreme LV hoodie all over monogram. There we go. Found something. Don't know if this is real. Don't know if it's real or not. This sold for almost $4,000 for this hoodie. You can kind of understand why people were a little upset when Carl Lentz posted this photo. Now, obviously, a lot of people won't really know how much this is worth. A lot of people online were not very happy about this photo. Now, understandably so, it's a $4,000 hoodie. You can buy, I don't know, pretty decent used car, maybe four MacBooks if you're lucky. There's a lot of stuff you can buy with it. Um, you got a lot of criticism for it because that's a lot of money to be spending on one article of clothing that, let's be real, shouldn't cost so much in the first place. Now, the last person that I wanna mention, I saw it in an article, thought I'd bring it up, is Rich Wilkerson. Oh, well, there's a great photo. When he got brought up, I was, didn't even know who he was. I still don't, if I'm being honest, I don't know who he is. Oh, I'm going over there, his Instagram. I noticed that he had a lot of like similar styles, but he wore a lot of fear of God. Like, 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 like a lot of fear of God. Probably not fear of God, doesn't look right wash, fear of God. And you can kind of see the same one. Right here, same same outfit, same exact outfit. So he only really wears Fear of God, which makes me think that he's not. They mentioned something about him in Gucci. I don't know, personally. But yeah, just from going through his Instagram, I don't see as many like hype hype stuff. Like I see him in like some Saint Laurent shoes. Like it's not too often. He kind of it's kind of like the same outfit over and over. It doesn't lead me to think that he's like too too much. Um, but he definitely has some 
hype, some expensive clothes. Now, let's go back to this view over there. Now, you're probably wondering what all this now. It's like, Matt, what, what does this mean? Why do we care so much? Why should we care? I don't think it's about caring about how much their clothes are worth and thinking that that determines their value as a person or even as a pastor. But I think there is a question to be asked sometimes of if they're able to get these expensive clothes, should they be giving a little bit of money even back? Obviously, like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't know their bank accounts. I don't know how much they're giving. I don't know how much they're getting for free from these brands. What I do know is they're wearing expensive stuff and some of it costs a lot. Now, saying all this, I think it's actually sometimes a good idea that these guys are dressing nicer. I definitely see it a lot at church that a lot of these guys are starting to dress a little bit better. Um, and I think it's really good for the scene to have that happening. I almost think that like the typical outfit that you would see at a church right now in LA is a denim jacket, a flannel underneath, skinny jeans, and then a pair of Vans. And if you want with those skinny jeans, you just crop them up a little bit. Boom, that's the LA look right there. So while yes, their clothes might be expensive, I think that the rationale behind it is they're trying to reach this crowd of fashion people, the fashion crowd, the more expensive people that can tell if your clothes are expensive or not, being like, hey, if you're following God and you're following Christ, maybe the clothes aren't be all end all for it. And you know what, you can still look good, spend a little money, but still worship God. I think the problem becomes when you start worshiping those clothes, when that's all you become is those clothes, I think that's when it becomes a problem. Like when I look through all those, the only guy who really had a lot of these hype stuff is Chad Veach and I think he just really likes that stuff I think he almost likes being a hype beast I think almost in LA has kind of turned him into that whereas some of these other guys they kind of just have those few pieces from these brands that are really their staple pieces in their wardrobe and I could kind of see on Instagram like look they're in those same outfits over and over and over again they're definitely reusing those outfits or or, or it's the same day that all of them are taken that, that might be it too, because they're kind of all in the same place. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Are you okay with pastors dressing really nice, really expensive clothes? Or would you rather them be in just the, you know, the flannel, shirt, toms? I, I definitely used to wear that. If you want to do a 10 year challenge, there you go. That's what I wore when I was like 16, even though it's not 10 years, it's like eight. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below about anything. If you have any ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to read them. And like always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.